Accidentally is how I got to where I am today, but I'm very grateful for it. The one thing that I set out to do was find my passion, find what my gift or my talent was, and that didn't happen overnight for me. It was a, it was a bit of a long process, but um, I knew I had reached it when I was doing voluntary work at a special needs school in England, and uh, kind of time froze when I was working with the kids, and I thought, hmm, this is very much unlike me. Um, and I'm like, oh, maybe this is what it feels like to find your passion. It's when everything else becomes irrelevant and you're truly, truly in the moment. And I realized, you know, I got to this moment, I really valued it because I was on the search for so long that when it came, I was like, thank you, God. And uh, I invested all my energy and resources into, you know, getting into the right program, getting trained by the people I thought were, you know, masters and experts in the field. And then after that, it was time to kind of be generous with the gift and put it to the service of other people. And then, as I was telling you, that's when the magic happens because support you didn't know existed kind of emerges and uh, propels you on. The momentum of everybody who wants to see bigger things happen comes together and you reach your goal. And you don't know when and you don't know how, but um, the only thing you know and the only thing I think that is consistent among people who have been lucky enough to have their dreams come true is that they are determined to stay the course without necessarily knowing where it's going to end. The intention is there and you know that you want to serve. For me it was I wanted to serve but I didn't know how that was going to come to fruition and it ended up in the center and very lucky to have the opportunity to um, work with children and to discover kids that we didn't even know existed. They're coming from Saudi, from Bahrain, from all over. So it's been very rewarding. Don't give up on yourself because a lot of people, if they don't discover their passion early on, then they give up and they think maybe they don't have any talents or gifts. And that's the saddest thing. It's like you gave up on yourself and you can't do that because um, it's you find joy in life, whether you're a man or a woman, when you're doing the thing that you love. And so don't give up on discovering what that thing is. Be patient and go out and see, see enough stories of women because women are doing amazing things. Go and see their stories and be inspired by their stories because everything's possible if you can see it and you know that it's happening. It's happening every day and there's no reason why it can't happen here. To us, there's, there's no difference between us and anybody else who's living a different life. Good luck and don't give up. <laughs> I believe that if more women are connected to themselves and connected to each other, then they won't lose sight of the purpose, the, anybody's purpose, uh, whether they're an Arab woman or, uh, or a Western man. The purpose is the same, it's to find out who you are and what you're here to do. And uh, for me, it's about serving in the field of education. For other women, it's a completely different course, but the need is the same, is to find out who you are and what you're here to do. Yes, <laughs> we've done it for, <laughs> for eras and eras. We, the human being doesn't give up, and women especially don't give up, and Arab women especially don't give up. <laughs>